Hello, Planet Earth. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're at IDK, my BFF Jill730. I'm Preston L. Young, wishing you warm salutations and congratulations. You've made your way to the Buffington Post. Today, we're taking a break from Buffy. I'm going to talk about how I felt about the last episode of Revenge. This is not a game of the slackers. There are no gimmies, no duos, no lifelines, no hints. You play as a team, but be ready to betray everyone to be rich. The weak of will, the unsteady, the ones who make excuses, all will leave with nothing. And if you fail, I will tell the whole world. Ah, the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay, so ABC's Revenge is one of those shows that's kind of like Heroes. You can watch the first season and you can pretty much leave it alone. You don't need to watch anything else and might be a letdown if you do. So Revenge follows the story of a young woman who grows up in foster care because her father's been all wrongfully imprisoned and set up for this crazy terrorist attack. And the show ran for four seasons. It just finished up last night. I had never reviewed it before and I probably should have been reviewing it this whole time because, oh, it's gone now, and what are we going to do? So, uh, yeah, there's no more getting our revenge on Sunday nights, but the episode wasn't perfect, and I want to talk about that for a minute. So, um, I, I, I don't think that they should have had Victoria not die the way that she didn't die a few episodes ago, where she was supposed to have blown herself up in the house. Um, I like what they did with her mother, and having them kind of add it to the bitter end. And, you know, that was a neat little plot twist that she used her mother's dead body to fake her own death. I, I did like that. That was neat. I didn't like that everything got wrapped up so sweetly and completely. I feel like, okay, you almost murdered Jack. That's a pretty good reason for Emily to finally be able to shoot your dumbass. And I think that... Just giving it to David really took away that weight, and it took away, you know, Amanda's revenge. Um, David, did he have a reason to shoot Victoria? It seemed like he had forgiven her. It seemed like he was just doing it so that Amanda wouldn't. And that's where Dick. And then, holy shit, when Victoria shot Emily, Amanda, Emilanda, um, oh shit, I thought she was gone. But... Then I was like, wait, there's like 10 more minutes in this episode. She can't be dead. Um, yeah, so David dying of cancer, getting out of, you know, prison for having killed Victoria on compassionate leave. Well, whatever. Um, Charlotte. Holy shit. Charlotte put Victoria's heart into Emily. That was so poetic and beautiful. I really liked that. I feel like if they had come back for another season, I would have been really interested to see what they did with Charlotte. So... Too bad that we're done. Uh, Margo, I I like that Margo saw the error of her ways and she felt really bad when Jack got all stabbed. But at the same time, I felt like it was a little too self-sacrificial for her not to get away. It just seemed kind of out of character for her to be like, I'm just going to sit here and take the blame. Whatever. Uh, Louise... I, I actually enjoyed Louise again in this episode. She's kind of been just... I haven't known what to feel about her for the past few episodes. I've wanted her back on her side. And when she called Victoria Mama and had that look on her face, I was like, mm, she's back. So I did like that. I enjoy Louise. I think she has a great uh, charisma about her, the actress who plays her. Um, and she has this kind of really smallness to her. She's like this very big character a lot of the time, but then she comes back and she's very small and kind of unsure of herself, and I really like that about that character in particular. Jack. Oh, Jack. I'm, I'm glad you got your girl. I don't know where your baby is, but I'm glad you got your girl. And uh, the wedding, I, I always knew that Jack and Emily would end up, Amanda, would always end up together because, you know, he married Amanda, and then, you know, they had Carl. And so I always figured that, you know, she is Amanda Clark. And so on paper, she's Carl's mother, even though they had to undo all of that in a 
legal sense a few episodes ago, I always figured that Jack and Amanda would raise Carl together right off into the sunset and all this fun, so that worked out. I just assumed that Amanda would be the one to burn down Grayson Manor because I thought that that would be how the season or the series ended with her burning that house to the ground and leaving with Jack. So that was great. Um, the episode, like I said, it tried to wrap things up a little too neatly for me, but at the same time, I, I was crying. I was like, oh my gosh, the tears. And when they were talking about like Declan and when they were talking about Amanda, Emily, um, it just, it, it brought everything to a head for me, you know, at the wedding scene, like talking about everything. And I felt like Amanda should have been crying, but she wasn't. It just, it was really heavy. And then when they brought out the, the dog, the Sammy number two, I just, I was like, I was over. I was, no, I couldn't, I couldn't even. So, uh, revenge is gone, you guys. I know I never said anything about this damn show before, but uh, I hope you'll at least check out the first season, if you will. Um, it's a good show. It's not perfect, but it's one of the very, very, very few network television shows that I've actually kept up with. I watched Once Upon a Time, but really, just, I got into it because of Revenge. I was waiting for Revenge to come on, and I happened to watch it one week, and that's the only reason I even got into Once Upon a Time, so thank you, Revenge. Um, I'm Personnel Young, you can come right back here, I'm about to do my Game of Thrones review. I've got Buffyverse discussions, discussions on the other Slayers, Buffy the Vampire Slayer comic reviews, Angel and Faith comic reviews, and more. Hope you're having a great 2015 so far, and we'll see you next time. This is not a game of the slackers. There are no gimmies, no duos, no lifelines, no hints. You play as a team, but be ready to betray everyone to be rich. The weak of will, the unsteady, the ones who make excuses, all will leave with nothing. And if you fail, I will tell the whole world. Ah, oh, the weakest link. Goodbye.